Hey guys, what's going on? I hope you're all doing well. It's your boy Kylab and welcome back to another video. Today we're doing something different, but it's kind of the same. Um, today we are using Tier Maker to rank the top 1.12.2 hack clients for 2v2t. In my list today, we have based at the top, then amazing, good, skid or rat. Now, just to clarify, some clients may end up in rat or skidded and these clients don't necessarily have to be skidded clients or rats. That is just the name of the tiers. Um, to, so to explain that, even though they end up in skid, it may be a skidded client or it may be like, let's say, uh, let's say impact ended up as a skid, right? I'm not going to put that there probably, but if impact ended up in skid, that doesn't make impact a skidded client. It just means that impact is not good, or amazing or based. It is below good. Um, but at the same time, we could have a skidded client like Renaissance or even something like um, where is Zulu. Zulu is technically skidded because it is not written on its own base. It is based on Cami Blue, I believe. Anyways, let's get started. So first of all, we have Worst. Worst is a good client for 1.12.2. Um, a lot of people hate on the client and I think most of the hate is justified. It is not a crazy good client. Um, but I think it is a really good client for beginners. I don't think it's a good client for people that have been hacking for a while. So if you are new to the hack client scene, Worst is probably a good place to start. And for that reason, I'm going to place Worst as a skid. I'd, I can't place it as good because I really can't justify that. The only good use case for Worst, like I said, is if you're new to the hacking scene. The next client we have is Worst plus three. Now this client has a lot of rumors of being unsafe, but from everything I've seen, I am 90% sure it is safe to use. So we're going to assume it's safe and the GUI on Worst Plus 3 is terrible, but it does have some really good PVP modules. So for that reason, I'm going to place Worst Plus 3 as a good client. Now, next up we have Impact. This one's kind of tricky because Impact by itself is a really good client. A lot of people hate on it or love it. There's no in between. Some people swear by the client and they love it, other people hate it. But personally, I really like Impact and it's actually one of the first clients I used on 2B2T and I still think it's a great client for 2B2T, it just hasn't updated. So it's very, very outdated. For that reason, I'm gonna have to place Impact as good. And it's definitely not worse than good, but it's definitely not amazing. If it updated more frequently and had more features, it could possibly be amazing. But as a utility client, I think Impact is a really good client. Next up, we have Wolfram. Now, this client is okay. There's nothing extremely special about it, but there's nothing terrible about it. But I think there's probably better clients out there that you can use that do the same thing or do a better job. So for that reason, I'm going to place Wolfram in the skidded category. Next up, we have Seppuku. Now, this client's actually really good for utility. It does have some PvP modules, but they're not amazing. So I think Seppuku should be another good client. Um, you're probably starting to see a trend here, but at the end of the video, I might go back and move some things around depending. So I'm just going to go through them somewhat quickly. And then at the end, we can make changes where we need to. Next up, we have Russia hack. Now, Russia hack is an amazing client. Um, I would go as far to say that it is a based client. Um, now, like I said, this video is mainly based on 2B2T's anti-cheat and my ping but um, I think Russia hack is a based client. Next up, we have Renaissance. <laughs> now this client has a very sketchy past. It was ratted, then there was a safe version apparently, but it's not very clear. A lot of people still think it's ratted. And for that reason alone, I would put it in skid, but what makes it even worse is that the client isn't amazing. Like it has a few okay modules, but in my opinion, there are other free clients out there that do the same thing, if not better, and they don't come with that risk. So for that reason, I'm going to place Renaissance as a rat. Next up, we have the Pyro client. Now, 
Pyroclient was really good when it first came out. Um, it automated one of the dupes, um, I think with minecarts, if I remember correctly, um, and it made the whole process much easier and faster. So a lot of people bought Pyro for the automated dupe module, but uh, once that was patched, there wasn't anything really special about the client. It has a few okay PVP modules, but it's not really worth its price these days, I don't think. And also it hasn't updated in a very long time. So all of the modules are outdated and the whole thing kind of feels like an exit scam. So until they come back, I am going to place Pyro as a rat. Um, there's just no way around that. So if you disagree with me, let me know. But for now, I think that's fair. Um, Next up, we have the Postman client. Now, I really like this client, but there's nothing about it that's super amazing. It's just a good client. Um, I wouldn't place it as skid. So there's nothing great about the Postman client, but there's nothing terrible about it. So I think it's a good alternative to some of the other clients out there. So for that reason, Postman client is going under the good category. Next up, we have Phobos. Now, this is a tricky one because personally, I think Phobos is a based client. Like it has amazing modules. It was very innovative for its time. It kind of paved the way for other clients. Um, like offhand module, I believe that was first from Phobos. That Don't quote me on that, that might be incorrect. Um, but I do think it's a based client. However, it has a sketchy past and there's a lot of there's a lot of ratted versions floating around, so it's kind of sketchy. However, if you can find a safe, buildable source that doesn't have a rat in it, I still think it is an amazing client. I think with all of its past and history, it could be a base client, but with it being ratted and everything, I think we're going to keep this as amazing. I think a lot of people may disagree with me on that, but that is what it is. Next up, we have Liquid Bounce. I think this client is also a good client for beginners, but in my opinion, it doesn't offer anything really special or unique. So for that reason, I'm going to place it as a skid. There's nothing crazy about this client that makes me want to use it for anything. So there's like, I definitely think there's better free alternatives out there. So for that reason, Liquid Bounce is going in the skid category. Next up, we have Lambda. I really like this client and uh, the fact that Lambda has plugins or add-ons uh, makes it even better. So if you didn't know, anyone can go and write custom add-ons for the client and then post them on GitHub and other people can use them if they decide to. So for that reason, I think Lambda is a based client. It also has some very cool plugins like um, the highway tools, for example, which are just amazing and I really like this client. It's also interesting that it was written in Kotlin, but um, yeah, that doesn't matter too much. I think I think Lambda is a based client. Next up, we have Conus. I think Conus is a really good PvP client, though a lot of people hate on it. Um, and I have heard a lot of people complaining that Conus doesn't work with Future or Abyss or other paid for clients. And I can see how that's frustrating because a lot of people pay for more than one client and they want them all to work together and then you try to add Conus to the mix and it just goes downhill. So I can see how that's frustrating, but if we're not judging that, Conus itself is a really good client. So I think we can place Conus in amazing. If it didn't crash with other clients, with other, especially other paid for clients, we could consider putting this in based, but for now, I think amazing is a good fit. Next up, we have Inertia. Now, Inertia is a really good client, but it hasn't been updated in a very long time. And I think the devs were more focused on the newer versions for, the, for 1.16 and 1.17, I believe, or just 1.16, I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, Inertia was a really good client, but it hasn't updated recently. Um, I haven't actually checked like in the last week. So unless it's updated, then uh, I have to place this as a skid. I can't. I could place this as good, but I think with the lack of updates, we're going to have to place this under skid. It's a really good client, but it just lacks some features and it's very outdated. So for that reason, I'm going to place inertia under a skid. Next up, we have Zulu. This client is known for its PVP modules, though it also has a somewhat sketchy past and the original project isn't buildable. So you could use something like GoPro's buildable source, but in my opinion, there are other free clients out there that offer better modules. So it's not really worth the hassle. 
And for that reason, I'm going to place Zulu under Skid. Next up, we have GameSense. Now, this is a really good PvP client. It's unfortunate that GameSense was discontinued, and I know there are newer versions like GameSense Plus, but I'm not sure. I think that's private. I could be wrong. Um, I haven't actually looked into that. Um, and I know, I th I'm pretty sure there were leaks, but I don't really want to run leaks or cracks or whatnot. So for now, GameSense itself is going to have to be a good client. It just needs more updates, but unfortunately, like I said, it has been discontinued. So for now, we're going to leave GameSense as a good client. Next up, we have Future. Now this is gonna cause some controversy because not everyone is gonna agree with me. But I think for 2v2t specifically, Future is an amazing client. The PvP modules work well and a lot of the other modules work well for 2v2t. And I might be slightly biased because I do have Future Beta, but I do think Future deserves to be in the based clients. A lot of people are gonna dislike the video just for that. And you know what? If you don't agree with me, dislike the video. It's okay, I understand. Next up, we have Cosmos. Now, this client has a really good looking GUI um, and it has some decent PVP modules. It doesn't really offer any utility hacks, but I do think the PVP modules are decent. Um, so for that reason, I'm going to place this as good. There's nothing that I can think of that justifies this client being any higher and there's nothing that justifies it being any lower. So I think we just have to put that in the mid ground, a good client. Next up, we have the cookie client. Now this is interesting because this client literally only became famous for its Elytra bot module, which basically is like baritone for Elytra. Um, that feature in itself is amazing, but the rest of the client is kind of sad. Like the GUI doesn't look very good and there are no other modules. Um, to be fair, I haven't actually looked in this, at this client for a while, so it might have updated and improved, but from when I last used it, I think we have to place this as a skid. The Elytra bot module could carry it up to good, but the lack of other features and stuff drag it down. We could maybe move this up to good, but for now I'm gonna keep it here, and at the end of the video, I might move this up. We'll have to decide. But for now, Cookie Client is a skid. Well. Not necessarily a skid, but you know what I mean. It is under the skid category. Next up, we have Catalyst. This is a really good paid for client. Now, if this list wasn't for 2B2T, I think Catalyst would straight up be a based client. However, Catalyst does lack a few modules like Boatfly, for example, which is the meta on 2B2T right now, or it was the meta at the time of making this video. Um, but, Unfortunately, I think Catalyst has to be put in the amazing category. I do think Catalyst has a lot of potential though, and with one or two small updates, this client could very easily be a based client. Um, I really like this client and I do want to put it here, but the lack of a boat fly module for now drags it down to amazing, which is still really good to be fair. Next up, we have Ares. Ares is an average client in my opinion. It has a few utility hacks, a few PVP hacks, but nothing that is crazy amazing or based and nothing that would justify it being a rat or a skid. So for now, I think we have to place this as a good client. And for our last client, we have Abyss. Now, Abyss works really well on 2B2T. It has some really cool render modules and overall, I really like this client. I think Abyss could be a base client, but the fact that there are two jar files and not just one is kind of annoying. And I think there are a few modules that could maybe be updated or improved upon. So for now, I'm going to put Abyss as an amazing client, but hopefully in the future with some updates, we can update this and move it to based. So I think I'm pretty happy with this list. Um, in Rat, we have Renaissance and Pyro. In Skid, we have Worst, Wolfram, Liquid Bounce, Inertia, Zulu, and the Cookie Client. In Good, we have Worst Plus 3, Impact, Seppuku, Postman Client, Game Sense, Cosmos, and Ares. In Amazing, we have Phobos, Konus, Catalyst, and Abyss. And in Based, we have Russia Hack, Lambda, and Future. I would say I'm happy with this list, but I know a few of you won't agree with me. So I'm going to post a link to this tier maker in the video's description, and you guys can go and put the clients where you think they belong, and then send me a screenshot on my Discord server. I'd love to see where you guys think the clients belong. Maybe you guys think Pyro is a base client, but personally, I think Pyro is a rat. 
So anyways, I would love to see your opinions and where you think the clients belong. So make sure to join my Discord server if you haven't already. Post your screenshots and I'll have a look. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was very different to my normal style of content. If you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, definitely let me know. If you think there's a client that should be here that I forgot to add, please let me know in the comments down below and I'll be sure to add it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it was kind of different with the face cam. Um, I haven't really done anything like this in the past, but I thought I'd give it a try. So let me know what you think. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you guys didn't enjoy the video, leave a dislike so that I know if I should make more of this type of content in the future. Huge shout out to my members for all of their support. They help me make higher quality content more often. Anyways, it has been your boy Kylab. Peace in the Middle East.